What's going on everyone, a seal suede from Diabetic Aesthetics. Gonna be doing a full day of bulking in college video. I already did a cutting in college video, so I figured why not do a bulking edition just because I'm currently bulking. And I figured it would help a lot of people with their diet, especially college students out there trying to get on that bulk and make some gains. But anyways, let me quickly discuss the guidelines. So I will be using my fitness pal just to track my calories and macros for the day, just to show you guys a very accurate representation of how my diet looks like and what like 3,400 calories looks like which is my goal target for today around 3400 3500 calories and especially how a high carb and lower fat diet looks like and moderate of course protein intake I'll discuss that in a second but yeah I want to kind of be very accurate along those lines so I figured why not count and my macros will be around 70 to 80 grams of fat and then around 180 to 200 grams of protein most likely will be around 200 just because around 3400 calories for me it's it's very easy to get my protein in so it's not a problem I weigh 175 pounds right now or 174 200 is not too bad for me but I suggest a gram of protein per pound of body weight for anyone else and of course my carbohydrate intake will be around 450 grams or so so that's my overall diet it's gonna be around like 33 to 3500 calories gonna go ahead and make my first meal of the day it's currently 12 and I woke up at 8 in the morning by the way so four hours ago I've been fasted that's something I typically do whether I'm bulking or cutting I'll fast for the first two to four hours of my day it just depends on how hungry I am I don't really do it to intermittent fast, I just do it because I like doing it and I'm more focused and productive in the morning when I do it. So yeah, anyways, gonna go ahead and make my first meal of the day and I'll be sure to show you guys what it is. So I just whipped up my first meal of the day. What I got is five white corn tortillas. Yes, by the way, they're corn. I don't have flour just because I have celiac disease. It prevents me from eating gluten because I'm allergic to it. So got the white corn tortillas. Tastes really good, really like these with the eggs and I have five whole eggs. These are whole, by the way, not egg whites. Typically my diet is a little bit lower in fat or I eat lower fat foods just because I eat more like bro-ish, quote unquote. So it's harder for me to get my fats in. So I like having whole eggs just to hit the fats in the morning. And then I have three packets of instant flavored buttered grits. Really freaking love these. They taste really good, especially with this kind of like combo over here. But huge meal, guys. Probably almost around 100 or 1,000 calories, not 100 calories, sheesh. But I'll put the macros right over here for every single meal I have. And like I said, I usually fast for the first few hours of my day. Then I go ahead and have a huge meal to start off my day after like three, four hours. Anyways, that's the first meal. I'll catch you guys for meal number dos. <laughs> So check it out guys, it's currently 7.22, haven't eaten in like 7 hours, I'm freaking starving, haven't even lifted yet, gonna go home, get a snack, maybe like a meal, not sure, but we'll see how I'm feeling, and I need to get some food in me, I'm going crazy, too much work, not enough food. Check it out guys, got some goodies, got some creatine monohydrate, I ordered this the other day for my protein, pretty good brand just because it's really really cheap and the ingredients are pretty solid, better than getting something on eBay, so got some good old creatine monohydrate, I only use this in whey protein in terms of supplements because that's really all you need and yeah I thought I'd kind of mention that. So I got myself a pre-workout meal, have a chicken sandwich, have three ounces of chicken breast in here, and it's literally just chicken breast. I would usually put veggies in there, some lettuce and tomato, but ran out, so I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and eat this plain. That's gluten-free bread, by the way, for those of you wondering. Also have a banana, and then I also have a protein bar. These are called Think Thin protein bars. I'm not gonna lie, guys, these are probably one of the best protein bars I've ever tasted. The macros are pretty shitty, around 240 calories a bar, so pretty high, but they're really good when you're bulking, and I'm telling you, they taste incredible and they're gluten free just in case you have celiac disease like me which I guarantee like 99% of you don't but yeah thought I'd mention that anyways gonna go ahead and eat all this and wait probably 30 minutes and hit the gym just because it's getting late gotta get this in and I'll show you guys my post-workout meal <laughs>
so still in my gym clothes, haven't even showered yet. I went ahead and just made my post-workout meal. Let me go ahead and show you guys what it is. But what I have is 400 grams of white rice. So that's around two cups of white rice. And then I have around six to six and a half ounces of cooked chicken breast. And then the red stuff on top is just salsa. You guys saw how I made the chicken. It was just chicken tenderloins. And I went ahead and cooked them for around 10 minutes. Seasoned them with some lemon pepper, some salt, and some chipotle garlic seasoning. It's really, really good, guys. And I think it's sodium free. I'm not positive about it, but I don't put too much anyways. Just enough to flavor up the chicken. But anyways, gonna go ahead, eat this meal, and then take a shower. And then probably have like another meal within an hour just because I still have a good amount of calories left, guys, and it's getting pretty late. You see, that's the shitty thing about intermittent fasting. When you're eating around like 3,500 plus calories, I really would not recommend following intermittent fasting. Or not even intermittent fasting, just fasting for the first two hours of your day, just because it can really set you behind if you have to eat a lot. I would say like maybe 3,500 plus. It just kind of gets difficult towards the end of the day. But you know what? It is what it is. I kind of enjoy that like focus you get when you fast in the morning. So um, I'm just gonna really do my best to make it work. Not every day is like this, just days where I'm really busy like today, which is almost every day. So I'm gonna go ahead, eat this meal and uh, hop in the shower and probably make another one within an hour. So got my last meal of the day, 100 grams of oats with a scoop of whey protein in there and then a banana. Got two Nature Valley protein bars. These things are high in fat, low in carb, and 10 grams of protein a piece. So really, really solid. Have these pretty much every single day. And that's gonna be the last meal of the day, guys. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and plow through this and I'll talk to you guys in just a moment. So that's gonna wrap up my full day of eating. My totals for the day were 206 grams of protein, 416 grams of carbs, and 84 grams of fat, a total of around 2,350 calories. Now that's around 200 calories or so less than what I'd usually eat every day, but that's because I was just sitting on the computer working all day and then I only just lifted for my form of exercise and I really wasn't moving around besides the fact of working out at the gym. So you gotta take that in consideration. So many people have that like one set number when they bulk and they follow that every single day and they'll find themselves gaining too much weight too quickly. Notice your kind of expenditure throughout the day. Some days you're gonna be more active, so eat more calories and some days you're gonna be less active. So eat a little less calories, you know, use common sense. Also some side notes, um, when it comes to protein intake, one gram of protein per pound of body weight, you don't really need any more than that when bulking. And then when it comes to fat intake, 0.3 to 0.5 grams of fat per pound of body weight. I'd recommend going in between around 0.4, that's usually the sweet spot for everybody. And then the rest of your calories come from carbohydrates. And of course, understand your body when it comes to a higher carb diet with a lower fat diet versus a higher fat diet and a lower carb diet. So that's gonna pretty much wrap up my full day of eating. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Oh, and one more thing, eat more fruits and vegetables. That's always when I record full day of eatings where I don't really eat any fruits or vegetables, but usually on average, I eat around two veggies and two fruits a day, but uh, it's really hard, honestly, for me as a college student to get my fruits and veggies in. But at home, I usually get at least like five a day of each. But yeah, do your best to get as many as possible. I really wasn't a good representation of that. But anyways, that's gonna wrap up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be sure to do a lot more full day of eating get a little more more creative with it and of course smash that like button if you enjoyed this video don't forget to comment down below and do not forget to subscribe to my channel plenty more content to come i'll see you guys in the next video you don't know the